in Britain we should be growing our own food, we shouldn't be importing it. So to be growing our own food is to me terribly important. We shouldn't give up on it. So we want to be a very, very efficient farmer. We want to do the right sort of farming. We want to be sustainable. And we want people to want to buy our produce because it has a good provenance. You know, Dyson's a private company. We're in it for the long term. We do the research and development. We put huge amounts of money into it and it has a long term payback. We want to be very, very permanent and grow and get better and better at what we do. And so it is with the farms. It's a wonderful thing to do and it will go on for generation after generation. We take a very, very long-term view here. The future of farming will be all about research, science, developing new ways of doing things, developing new machines. When we started, we started getting the basics right. But when you get into something like this, just as you do with manufacturing, if you have bright young people working for you who are thinking intelligent and willing to experiment and take risks, you can improve dramatically all the time. We're one of the largest producers of peas in England, and we're very large producers of potatoes, very large producers of strawberries over there. So we'll be growing strawberries in November and March. And we can do that because we've got this wonderful power source right next door, the anaerobic digester and the power generators. We make the electricity from sustainable resources. Here we are, this maize, that's what, that's what powers that anaerobic digester, to make the electricity that our products use, so it's sustainable. We're going to use technology here, robotics technology, vision technology, interpretation of pictures, all the kind of automation things that we're developing at Dyson, that can work on a farm. Some of the things we want from the farm are interesting because I think we can use farm produce in our products. I'm not going to tell you how we're going to do that, we already see how we can do that. And that would be interesting as well. When you start, you may be a fairly ordinary farmer, but hopefully over the years, because of our sense of adventure, because of the intelligence and bright people we're employing, we can get better and better at it. And I hope that in sort of 10 years' time, and look back on the last 10 years, because we've owned the farms for almost 10 years now, we'll, it'll be light years different.